So today we're going to be looking at Allo and I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Allo as a coin. So recently with news of ASIC miners coming out for Allo or Alio, whichever you, you want to pronounce it, there has been obviously some discussion of how they got ASIC so quickly, you know, kind of what has been going on in the background. So if you didn't know, this kind of popped up on the scene, I want to say around two to three months ago. And it was bringing in good profitability for GPU mining, but now we can't really see much profitability for GPU mining in general, but even on Allo, it doesn't produce anything and it's not on the top spot anymore. So it's kind of coming out of nowhere, it started out with a lot of pre-allocation as well, and it was very profitable for a while. Clearly that has made some jump over to ASIC miners. I would have liked to have seen FPGAs in between. It kind of seems like they jumped the gun on FPGAs. That's kind of a more natural progression so that the hash rate can build up a little bit more. Instead, it went straight GPU to ASICs. There was no FPGAs in between. And that has really diminished the profitability of GPUs on the network very, very quickly. At least with FPGAs, there's not a lot of them out there. So they don't hit as much hash rate onto a network and slowly GPUs will be phased out and then those FPGAs will be phased out by newer ASICs coming online. So the profitability was kind of jumped from GPU to ASICs and no in between. And that's why it kind of just dropped off the charts very quickly for profitability. So my thoughts on Allo overall is kind of like an industry plant where someone's planted into an industry and they're there to turn a profitability for certain people. And that's kind of what I see with Allo as well. So even in the tokenomics, you can see that a lot of the tokens right here in case of Allo, the Allo token at launch, there'll be 1.5 billion tokens. After launch, the consensus algorithm will auto generate tokens to reward puzzle solving provers and stakers. So obviously the puzzle solving is the miners and the nodes. Similar to Bitcoin, the Allo network is secured by economic incentives. So there's 1.5 billion of these tokens available at launch, and this is how they were distributed. So you have early backers, grants and education, employees and project contributors, Allo network foundation and approvable, and then strategic partners. So that's quite a lot to just be given out over at the launch of a coin. Another reason why I kind of think it's like an industry plan is when we click on markets, you can see that there are various markets out there, but the biggest one being Coinbase Exchange. So if we're going based off rankings, this is a tier one exchange. You don't see any other tier one exchanges actually listing Allo yet. And then these are more tier twos or tier threes as you go down. So it's kind of interesting to see that Coinbase listed it instantly, like right off the bat. There was also which I believe kind of ties back to this kind of distribution that we're seeing here. So I'm assuming that Coinbase got a lot of these coins through either early backers or partners because they do tend to fund certain projects and in the background so they can be given an allocation later on down the line to actually sell off to users or to those miners or whoever wants to trade it. And you can see that reflected in the price chart very clearly here. So this is where it lists on Coinbase. You can have it run, it runs up a little bit whilst it is still profitable for GPU miners. And then I'm assuming once all the token holders get their unlocks, and this is maybe a day after the launch. So we have a week down the line. And from there, it's just kind of a sell off. And the reason for this is probably because of those grant programs and those early backers that sold off. This is probably quite a high price to sell it off at if you have you know, 6.5, so $6.50 times by, let's just say 25% of 1.5 billion. So you can kind of see that is a lot of coins generating a lot of money for these early backers. And then another reason why I think that it's an industry plan as well is the Bitmain plans to launch the Alio Antminer. So that kind of calls into question where they got the idea for Alio. Obviously it was in development phase at some point, but they also probably distributed some of the tokens or allocated some of the tokens to them to start building or promise some tokens to them to start building a ASIC for the Allo network. Just because, you know, at some point GPUs are going to progress to ASICs and they probably wanted it there at the time. And Bitmain can actually generate money off that and they can sell some of the Allo tokens that they were allocated to fund this in part. 
So this was back in 2023. So way before Allo launched to mainnet. And then we actually have these new ASIC miners. We know that Bitmain has them in development and there has been kind of some rumors that they'll be releasing very soon. So you have the Ice River one and the Gold Shell one. And these are kind of hitting the network currently right now. With some pools kind of getting spikes upwards, you see this new pool come online. I believe that this might be a testing pool for some of these maybe. So you have 37 mega hash on the AE box from Gold Shell and then 50 mega hash from the A0. I'm assuming that they're putting it on some pools to start running it up. And most of the distribution is coming from these three pools basically. So these are definitely being tested on the network. These are being shipped out. So in January, 2025, these are gonna be coming on the network very soon or at least tested. And same with the Ice River ones. I know some people have already started testing them on the network. And the profitability has dropped dramatically since then. So even when they announced on uh, 17th of January, the revenue was at $30. And now the revenue is all the way down to 20. And with the Ice River, it was at around $40. And it's all the way down to 26 now. As soon as, so you can see as soon as that kind of hash rate starts to be tested and hit the network. So people that got their allocations for these AE boxes early, they're going to make a lot of money. And you can already see that there's a lot of them hitting the network due to the profitability going down. But also the profitability is going down because the price of Allo is going down as well. So they announced on the 17th. So let's just go on the one month chart here. They announced on the 17th and then you have that spike upwards. And since then it's also gone down as well. So there's going to be more hash rate hitting the network. The price is going to probably continue going down because I'm willing to bet that a lot of these early backers that we saw here or strategic partners or grants, they definitely sold off and have been selling off with their unlocks. So it says here, so it says here, they'll be distributed over a fixed amount of time and proving rewards over the next 10 years. But I'm assuming that they did the calculations and they said it's way more profitable to dump our first allocation of coins right now than wait until 10 years down the line where this might not even be a thing anymore. And overall, this has kind of been like the biggest coin, at least for GPU miners for the past three months. And it's kind of sad to see that it was a quote unquote pump and dump from a cryptocurrency that's proof of work. We haven't really seen much of those schemes going on necessarily within crypto mining because it's harder to rug pull all of that. But with pre-allocations of coins, you kind of get into the bad territory of early backers, people that have put their money in, waiting for exchanges to list. Coinbase obviously helped that. There's no reason that Coinbase would list a coin like this that is just in the early stages of actually going onto mainnet when they won't even list, you know, top 30 coins such as Casper or anything else that's not listed on Coinbase as well. Same with Binance, it's very hard to get those listings. So there's only a couple of ways that you would actually be able to and you see it with meme coins, there's probably some pre-allocation given out to exchanges so that they can start trading and selling. And they were probably given it at a certain price. And then later down the line, they can make profits by selling it to you. So that's kind of how crypto is working. I know that that's kind of a speculative thing, but we kind of all know if you've been in this long enough, you see the prices pump when exchanges hit. And then suddenly the price just starts declining rapidly. And a lot of volume is going into selling, so it makes you wonder where that volume is coming from. And it's probably the actual exchanges trading against you. So personally, I would not be buying these ASIC miners. I think they're going to be very unprofitable very quickly. Bitmain obviously are going to announce one soon. I have seen rumors around on X that certain, certain people affiliated with Bitmain are talking about it. And that's probably going to be released within the month. And it will also probably be way better than the A0 and the AE box. And we can kind of assume as well that it's going to be very expensive. So I personally wouldn't buy one of those either. As we've seen with other proof of work cryptocurrencies, Radiant, Alephium, Casper coin, as soon as Bitmain starts to come on the network, that profitability just tanks off. And every single release that we've seen, the profitability is tanked off quicker and quicker and quicker. So Casper coin, it was kind of prolonged, Alephium, it was prolonged a little bit shorter. Radiant fell off very quickly. And then the next one's probably going to be Allo, which is going to fall off even quicker. 
So that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think about Aloe and where the future of it is going. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content like this.